Hello you guys and welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you're here. My name is Katie and I recently posted a video going through all of my groom and groomsmen pose ideas, group ideas, prep ideas for wedding photography. So I decided to also quickly go through my bride and bridesmaid photo inspo, like bridal prep, the whole getting ready process, the different shots I get during that time as well as bridesmaid the group photo idea and bridal portraits like bride by herself ideas. We're gonna go over all of that in this video. First we're going to start with bridal details. Now whenever I get to a wedding the first thing I do is schedule time to do the invitations, all of those kinds of details. So most of the time I will get all of those items from the bride. I'll make sure to get the wedding band like the groom's wedding band as well but I get the bride's shoes any kind of jewelry earrings any perfumes did I already say shoes I think I already said shoes hair clips anything from the bride sometimes there are very sentimental pieces as well like something borrowed or an heirloom something that was a great grandparent so I'll make sure to get all of those things as well as the bouquet and do those for my like flat lay invitation suite photos. Once I'm done with the invitation, like the flat lay photos, I will go and get the dress from the bride and usually I will find a place to hang it before I go get the dress. So I will take the dress and hang it somewhere at the venue that I think is nice. It will depend on lighting, how much time you have. Sometimes brides don't want their dress to be seen by anybody until it's on them. All of those will factor in where you can go, but for the most part, I you can stick to a door, you can stick to near a window. I like to get some with like the venue, <laughs> like if I could do it the front door of the venue to kind of get that in the back of it is nice, but it'll really determine on how much space you have available, where you can go. Now we've done details. Most of the time the brides and bridesmaids are getting ready, whether that is getting their hair and makeup done, so I'll make sure to capture that. Any kind of hanging out photos during this prep time. A lot of the time, uh, a lot of bridal parties will have matching pajama sets, so we make sure to get a picture with everybody in their matching pajama set and any kind of combination of people that the bride wants. Sometimes, you know, I always get the big group shots, but sometimes she just wants one with her sister or something, so we'll make sure to get those as well. Most of the time, I'll have the bridesmaids maybe sitting on a bench or if there's a really cute couch or a bed or something that is in good lighting and is really cute, I'll have them sit there and I'll have them smile at me and then cheers and or just cheer and look at the bride. And of course, if there is champagne, we'll do like a cute champagne shot with everyone in their matching pajamas. And then usually after we get the matching pajama set photos, I will say for all the bridesmaids to go ahead and get in their dresses and I'll have the bride get in her dress without zipping it up or doing the corset or buttoning up or whatever it is because I want the mother of the bride or the maid of honor, sisters, whoever to help her get into that dress. Once the mother of the bride, maid of honor, bridesmaids, whoever is helping her get in her dress is already done, then we'll go in and I'll get the like mom helping her get in the dress shot. Now I get a couple of different angles here. I like the big shot to see everybody, you know, either full body or just everybody's face. But I also love the close up of hands buttoning or, or tying or whatever it is. I like that close up shot as well. And then I'll usually have them, you know, if it's mother, daughter, okay, now you can look at your mom and your mom can check you out. Like, how does she look, mom? Sometimes the mom is crying and it's all okay. And a quick photo of the both of them in the getting ready room. I always make sure to get that. More bridal prep photos. I will have the bride actually put on her shoes like a normal person. Person. and then we'll get like the fixing shoe shot I'll insert those of course where she kind of bends down and plays with her shoe now if she can bend down and tie her shoe or put on her shoe by herself I'll get those as well and we'll kind of stage it but most of the time like it's either really like a tight dress you can't bend over or there's just a lot of dress and you can't get to it so sometimes we'll have a relative or a bridesmaid help put on the shoe and then we get that 
shoe shot of her kind of just like playing with the buckle and next we'll have her like fake putting on her earrings or putting on her earrings for real but most of the time it's fake and I'll have her look out a window and kind of look down smile at me all while like playing with her earrings and then also if she has any you know, I've had her play with her rings before, I've had her play with a bracelet. All of this helps video as well because, you know, you're moving back and forth and, you know, movement on video is good as well. So I like to get those shots. Most of the time, the bride doesn't want to put on the veil until right before going down the aisle. But if we want to put on the veil now, I'll have mom help with that. And so get those shots of maybe mom or the maid of honor, bridesmaid, whoever putting in the veil in the bride's hair. Now, most of the time I'm with the bride during all of this, but sometimes I can get bridesmaids helping each other get into dresses, and I will get some of those shots as well, especially if they're all in like the same room getting ready together. There are two, well, there's many first looks that you can do with a bride. Um, one I've seen a lot are a first look with your bridesmaids, so I will have the bridesmaids get ready and then step out of the room, and I will usually place them somewhere around like close to the getting ready suite and have them all face away from the bride have the bride walk out and then tell them like three two one now turn around and before like as I'm placing the bridesmaids I always say like just at least smile maybe cheer whatever you got to do, like hype her up at least. Like maybe you're not crying, but there's nothing more awkward than a bunch of bridesmaids looking around with like no facial expression. Like at least smile and be like, oh my gosh, you're so pretty. Like you don't have to be crying or like, oh my gosh, but like show some emotion. So I say that in a nicer way when I place them all, like at least smile at her, tell her she looks pretty. And so that's one first look that you can do. I usually ask my bride, do you want to do a first look with your bridesmaids? And not all the time, like she doesn't say yes every single time, but it is an option. The uh, second kind of first look that I ask a lot is if you want to do a first look with your father. More often they do and so I will have the father placed either outside if we can but most of the time you know a bunch of people are there so we don't want to take her outside but we'll have him inside facing a corner just facing away from her. I will have the bride come up touch him on the shoulder and then he'll turn around and they have their own little moment. I'll always hype up dad a little bit. I'll tell him, oh my gosh, she looks so beautiful. You're going to stay here. You're not, you're going to face this direction. Like, sorry, you're being put in the corner right now, but no cheating. You can't look behind you. You can't look at her. She's going to come up and tap you on the shoulder and you'll turn around and just have a moment. You can cry, you can smile, you can do whatever you need to do. Just have a moment with your daughter. And I'll tell the bride, you know, tap him on the shoulder and he'll turn around and you guys have a moment. And I think they make for very sweet photos. Even if like the dad doesn't cry, he just looks so happy, you know? Like, I, I don't know. I think they're very sweet photos. I love it when brides do this or want to do this or can do this. I love first looks with dad. Now we're getting into the group shots of bridesmaids. I know in my previous video, which I will link down below about my groom and groomsman pose ideas, a lot of the time we're waiting on a groomsman, so I'll do the groom portraits first and then the group. Most of the time, bridesmaids, we're on top of it. So we'll do the group shot first and then I'll do individual bridal portraits after those. Going right into groups, I make sure all the bridesmaids have their bouquets and tap the water if they're using fresh flowers. Tap the water like with a rag or a napkin, like the stems the part that would be in the water, don't tap the water. You know what I mean. You want to dry off the bouquets and if they're not fully dry, you know, have them away from you a little bit so you don't get water stains. I communicate that before heading outside. I like, I prefer to do all of the photos outside. I'm more natural light photographer. I prefer outside and even if it's a little bit hot, we'll go outside for some photos and then run back inside and then maybe go back outside for bridles. Like I prefer to take all the photos outside. I think it's prettier. I think the lighting's better. I don't have to use flash. I think just all around I'm in favor of going outside. So we'll head outside. All the bridesmaids have their bouquets and I'll just have them line up. I would say the average size of a wedding party is like 
six bridesmaids, six groomsmen, so usually it's pretty even on either side. They sometimes ask where they should stand, and I will say maybe the sisters stand closest to the bride, but really, you know, I let them line up however they want to. So I'll do a standard, like everyone is just straight across from each other, holding their bouquets and smiling right at me. In order for them to get in like a straight line, I have them look down at their feet, make sure their feet are aligned, have their bouquets at their belly buttons and just smile right at me. And then I will have all the bridesmaids look at the bride. Then I will tell the bride to choose somebody to look at. And sometimes they can't decide, so they go back and forth and it's really cute and everyone's laughing. Sometimes I'll even say like, okay, now everybody laugh. And everyone's like, ha 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 ha. Like the most not candid laugh ever, but it makes for really cute photos. And then I will move into some other poses. I will have all of the bridesmaids drop their bouquets, not on the ground, but like let their arms go. So their bouquets are kind of upside down holding them by them their side they'll all angle in to the bride and the bride will angle into the center as well and we'll get like a smiley one that way maybe a serious one and between the group shots I'm doing like full body I'm coming in tight just getting kind of like half body I'm kind of mixing it up a little bit so next I'll kind of have um, what we had before um, with the bridesmaids on either side of the bride they have their bouquets back up and I'll have the bridesmaids kind of angle in towards the bride and we're gonna do kind of like a cheering shot. So some bouquets are up in the air, some bouquets are down, and I kind of have the bride, she can either stick out her bouquet straight, maybe she can lift her arms up and cheers, but we kind of just do like a, yay, she's getting married shot, smiling at me and then smiling at each other. Another iconic shot to get for the group of bridesmaids is everybody having their bouquet straight out we'll have them all kind of touch each other and get that like flower shot I think they're really cute I usually have them smiling and looking at each other because sometimes I can snap a couple like cute photos of them smiling and looking at each other with their bouquets out all the florals like I love capturing those kinds of details as well so I make sure to get those in the group shots one that uh, shot that I've been seeing a lot lately speaking of florals is where all the bridesmaids kind of surround the bride with their bouquets and I've been doing it a couple times and I think it's really really cute as long as you have like enough bouquets and they're full enough and so I if you the bride wants to do something like that I think it's really cute so it's bride by herself but all the bridesmaids have their bouquets around her another shot that you can do with bridesmaids is a walking shot so everybody's walking towards me everyone's smiling at each other smiling at me whatever kind of variation you want to do but they're walking very slowly towards me and I like it. I prefer it when they're kind of smiling and laughing at each other. Another group shot that you can do is from behind. So everyone has their bouquet like behind their back. So you get the florals and you also can see like the backs of the dresses, people's hair, and the backs of the, like the back of the bride's dress, which is really important. Another group shot you can do is kind of like a group hug. I, I do this a lot with like full bridal party but you can also do it with the bridesmaids everyone gets nice and close and does a group hug I think it's really really cute and sweet so those were quite a few group shots that you can try with your bridesmaids and I always leave it up to the bride are there any other group shots that you want to get but for the most part you know you get the standard photos you get a walking one you get some other like variations of things and most of the time the brides very happy with what we have next I move into to individuals of each bridesmaid with the bride and very similar actually the exact same thing that I do with the groom and groomsmen I will have the bridesmaids do like a very normal standard portrait always bouquets at belly buttons and smiling right at me and then I usually have them do a funny one where the bridesmaids decide I tell them like you decide your funny one before coming up here so we'll do a nice smiling one and then we'll do a funny one. So then the bride has a photo with every single one of her bridesmaids. I'm also doing like full body, then getting in close. And again, you get to see like their personalities, 
how close they are, like it, it all kind of comes out in these kind of photos. Once I get every single bridesmaid done, now I'm taking the bride by herself. Sometimes I ask a bridesmaid or the maid of honor to kind of stay behind because we have to get like the veil shot if you know what I mean. If you know, you know. The veil shot, they will lift up the veil and drop it when I like say one, two, three. They'll drop it, step out of frame, and you get that nice, beautiful floating veil shot. I will start with a very standard portrait for the bride, so flowers at belly button, smiling directly at me. I will have her then smile at her flowers, then kind of like soft smile at her flowers, look up at me, maybe tuck a piece of hair behind her ear, smiling at me, and then I will do have her face kind of the side, so I'm getting a side angle of her dress, but turn her body a little bit towards me. When I do a full body like this, I will have the veil shot now. So I get like her train and the veil and it's just so, so beautiful. If the veil is long enough, I will bring it out in front of the bride. I'll have her look at her flowers, smile at me. And then if it's long enough, I will actually put it over the bride's head and actually mine as well. I'll get underneath the veil with her and take some photos that way. Most of the time it's like smiling at me, but then looking down at the flowers. That will again, depend on how long the veil is. But for the most part, you can get someone to kind of swoop it, swoop the veil in front of you and get those really pretty shots and then I will also put the veil over the bride's head and flowers and just have her look right at her flowers I think that shot in black and white is so cool and so beautiful I'm kind of obsessed with it with a lot of my like poses on wedding days I'll have them like smile at me then soft smile then maybe no smile maybe look away or look down I kind of let them go through a few variations of like the same pose with just like their face <laughs> so then you get a lot of variety but you're not switching them up all the time another pose that I really like to get with the bride by herself is when she drops that bouquet down and kind of turns off to the side and she'll either look down at the bouquet or smile right at me now, if the dress, if we're able to, I love a good dress twirl picture. Like, I love it. You just hold both sides of the dress with your hands and give us a twirl. And I'm kind of obsessed with it. I love this shot. Absolutely love it. So after, like, the dress, the twirl shot, sometimes I'll have her just hold on to her train and play with the train like this looking down at it again it'll depend on the kind of the, the style dress that she has but I think the movement and I don't know it just kind of shows off the dress and I really like it very similarly I will sometimes do a photo of the back of the dress so if we're in front of the venue she's facing the venue the back of the dress is towards me and then having the flowers down at her side I'll either have her look down at the flowers maybe it's behind her but I mean we got to show off the dress the dress is beautiful we have to show it off like we have to show off the dress so we want to make sure we get as many angles around as well and also showing off her hair and like when she looks down at her flowers that shows off the makeup she's done like we're really just showing off all the details that the and thought the bride put into this special day now if there's like a couch again or something like that I'll have her sit on the couch and do some poses maybe stand next to the couch or the chair whatever it is it, it depends on the venue and what is available there and then if there are any poses that she wants to get maybe she wants like a beautiful shot of her running towards the venue with the dress all flowy. We can get that. We can get whatever shot she wants. And now I I know that this is not every single bridal pose ever. I'm just telling you the ones that I get on wedding day because if we're doing a bridal session, we're getting a lot more poses there. The poses that I'm mentioning in this video are the ones that are my go-to for wedding day. I like to get a lot of variety in a very short time because it is dependent on time. You know, the timeline is really important on wedding day. I'm not going through every single pose that I've ever done for a bridal portrait session when those are two hours versus maybe 15 or 30 minutes on wedding day, depending 
depending on how much time we have. And I'll also get like a, a close-up shot of the bride's hands holding the bouquet, get her ring, all of that good stuff as well. So I know this was a lot. I hope that you found this video helpful. I hope it helped, you know, your inspiration for wedding day, maybe the flow of the poses that you do. If you found this video helpful, please give this video a like. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time. Bye.